Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of this series, I'm going to show you how to create your own intro sequences by mixing and matching motion graphic templates that we created earlier. So working in Premiere, I showed you how to install these motion graphic templates. And if we want to make a quick intro sequence using this workflow, I can simply drag out that template that we created. So if I start from scratch, I'll drag out the template and maybe I'll drag it out two, three, or four times. So let's just say three for this case. I have one, two, three occurrences of this template. But I want to change the clips and the text each time. So for the first one, if I highlight it, a couple ideas that I can do are, let's say for the first one, I can do all three video clips the same. So I can do something like my name presents, and I can play that. It comes in cool like that. And then when it animates out, I can simply cut the clip at that point because we didn't want to perfectly time it in After Effects. And then I can drag the other clip in at that point and it'll animate in seamlessly, kind of like a dip to black. Keep in mind that you can also drag in your own crossfades or dip to blacks in the tra video transitions folder, like so, and kind of create your own transitions in Premiere even though we did it in After Effects. And for the second one, another variation of this theme is perhaps just doing one clip on the left side and then two different things on the right side. And another feature we haven't touched on is the fact that I can actually scale and adjust the size of each of these clips. So for example, this basketball spinning on a finger is more of a vertically shot clip, so it fits a little bit differently than the others, but if I just drag it and move the position into place, I can make it fit more nicely. And you can see how I'm doing that all in the Essential Graphics panel within Premiere Pro. Now you can see we have one slide coming in in one variation and then animating out to the second slide in a different style with two different clips. And I can even change the text to be something else in this case, like, you know, in association with or whatever, you know how movie intro titles are. And then lastly, for this third sequence, a couple of other ideas you could do is just adding one different piece for each clip. So I could do three different clips. Or additionally, you could do the same clip. And instead of just having the same clip in each side, I could have the same clip, but also stagger the position. So I could kind of have like a duplicating effect going on in one or a few of the panels, kind of like a cool repeating effect, or I can adjust the scale of one of them to zoom in on a certain detail, or just have three different video clips entirely in this last segment. And if I even want, I can just remove the source text altogether if I don't want any text on this slide. So you can quickly see how you can begin to mix and match just from this one template, all of the different variations that we've created. And that's not even to imagine all of the different combinations that are available, not just with one template, but if you would have created two or three different sort of square templates and mix and match those. If you enjoyed this final result, you can check out all the tutorials on mine and Adobe's channels in a playlist. And you can also find all of the relevant links to these project files so you can work along in the links below. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.